Let's take a look at how the table feature works on a T84 plus calculator. <clears throat> the first one we'll take a look at is uh, y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 1. So I'm going to uh, do a zoom and choose Z standard. Set it back. Then we'll go to y equals, press clear, and I'll go down to y2 and clear that. And uh, then we'll put in x squared minus 3x plus 1. Okay. Now, first thing, um, you see tables above your graph. So to get into the table, you do second graph. But let's first look at table settings. So I'm going to do second window. And um, I'm going to down arrow to independent. I want to make sure both of these are marked as auto. So what I did is I put my cursor on auto and I pressed enter. And that changes the highlighting to auto. Okay, so let's go to graph now. So I do second graph. And this is like one big t-chart. For example, if I put 3 in for x, 3 squared is 9 minus 3 times 3 is 9. So you got 9 minus 9 is 0 plus 1 is 1. So that gives you your y value. And you can see you can keep scrolling down or you can scroll up and see the negatives too. Well, let's say I want to go down to x equals 500. Well, that would be a lot of down arrowing to do. So if I do second window, go back to my table settings. You see table start says negative 3. We can change that to 500. And now if I go do a second graph, you see it starts at 500. If, um, if I go to second window, go back to table settings, you see this delta? That's a change in uh, table. And it's by ones, but I could change that to fives. Now if I go back to my table, I do second graph. You see it goes by fives, 500, 505, 510. I could have it go by ones, or point ones, I mean. So I do second window. You can have this change by point one. And now if I go back to my table, second graph, you see it's going by one, point ones. Not get that right yet. Um, so those are different ways that you can change um, the where it starts at, what it goes by, and so forth. This uh, comes in handy if you're looking up a lot of different values, and you can look it up directly like this. One very nice feature of the table, which uh, we'll see a lot more later on, um, if you do second window, go back to your table settings, instead of independent saying auto and ask, or auto, you go down here, uh, put your cursor on auto, right arrow over, put your flashing cursor on ask, and press enter. So independent in terms of the setup I have here is the x values. So it's going to ask us for the x values, not going to just list them. doesn't matter what your table start is and uh, delta table is up here because this will automatically just ask. Now if we go to table, second graph, see there's nothing here. But I could put in 3, I could put in 6, I could put in 1 third. So 1 divided by 3. You can put whatever you want in. 2 divided by 5. Um, so it's kind of nice. You can uh, put it wherever you want. To clean out the old ones, if I up arrow, um, you can just press uh, delete to clean out uh, the entries. Or you can simply just type in over, over them. So if I put 8 and then press enter, it gives me that. Now it only, ha only handles this one screen, so you can't keep going down forever. So it is limited in that. Let me show um, show working with this one. Okay, if I go to y equals, press clear, and I do 1 divided by 3, and I do my x key, x squared, uh, plus x, minus 2. Now if I go to my table, so second graph, you see it automatically adjusted to wherever you put in for y1. Um, I'll clean those out. Let me put 2 in. And gives me this value. Or 3, 6, uh, 59. You put in decimals, 56.2. Problem with it is, though, is that um, over here it uh, gives you a decimal approximation, so it doesn't give you the exact value. Um, but we'll talk more about that later.
but uh, that's some of the functionality uh, with the table. Um, kind of nice if you're going on to certain classes. Uh, algebra, maybe not so useful. Um, I use this a lot more when I'm teaching business calculus. Um, it allows you to, to do test cases a lot quicker than, um, than any other, other method. And exit out, you do second mode. And that's more about uh, understanding how the table works on a T84+.